Lymph nodes are small bean-shaped organs and we have hundreds of them in our bodies. If we have an injection into the arm, some of the white blood cells from the blood go to the site of the injection and they take some of the vaccine back to the lymph nodes in the armpit. And this is where the response happens. So instead of just measuring the output of the vaccine, which is the antibodies in the blood, we want to really study the lymph nodes themselves. And we can do that by visualising the lymph nodes using an ultrasound scanner, exactly in the same way that you might have a scan for a baby, for example. And at the same time, we can take a small number of cells from those lymph nodes and see how they're responding. If we pair that with what's happening in the blood, then we can get a detailed picture of how different vaccines work. On the day, a participant will come in, we'll put them at ease, then we'll ask them to lie down and we darken the room. Some people find this very relaxing. We'll then do an examination and we give some local anaesthetic, typically to avoid any discomfort. At this point, we then use the ultrasound to find the lymph nodes that we want to sample and take some cells. And this is the key part of the whole investigation that we're doing, and this is really important for our research. Vaccines are often designed with a one-size-fits-all approach, but we know that we don't all respond in the same way to vaccines. This can be due to genetic factors or environmental factors. So our research aims to understand how that diversity influences the immune response to vaccines so that we can design better vaccines in the future. To do this, we really need to keep recruiting into these kinds of studies. And we're asking people to come forward and take part because without that sort of support, this research can't happen. We're so grateful to all the people who've supported us by participating in our research and who continue to do so. We feel really passionately about delivering research that meets the needs of the community and is the kind of research that people want to see happening. We have professional contributors who read our study documentation and help us design the studies. And we have a scientific outreach programme where we go to science fairs called Immunity Investigators. And there we do fun activities with families focused around not just lymph nodes, but vaccine research as well. This kind of research wouldn't be possible without funding. We're very grateful for the continued support of our funders, including the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, the MRC UKRI and others. I've been working in medicine for over 20 years and it's a real privilege to work with these participants to be able to get these kind of samples that are going to give us so much data for vaccine research and immunology research now and in the future. <laughs>